Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to what should be the penultimate episode of this entire series. And it's not going to be exactly super difficult to start out with, but who knows, we'll see. First up is Guardian. He kind of sucks, but there's a couple things he can do that are scary. Um, player 2 has to be anyone except Mog, which doesn't give me a whole lot of play. This is Sabin. Just have him bum rush the credit of everything like he normally does. Well, this isn't so great. <laughs> uh, this is either Shadow or Go Go, so now I have to check down here. This is in fact Go Go. No, this is in fact Shadow. I'm being an idiot. Ninja Star. Mog hit stuff. Go Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, Mog should be protecting the team from ordinary physical attacks. This guy's, again, slow as dirt, like the other boss I just fought recently. Mog should be the primary healer. On average, I think he's... Uh, honestly, about tied with Shadow, probably, for in terms of damage. All those smacks should just be hitting Mog. That's not particularly inviting. Having Seizure on. Oh, I missed a Phantom Rush too, that doesn't help either. Go go punched, that's not going so well. I'm not gonna complain about a Pearl cast though. Yeah, let's see if Gogo -Go attacks. There we go. Another step mine. He doesn't... I don't really need to worry too much about how tough he is or anything like that, because he really sucks. There's a possibility for shenanigans to happen if this starts taking too long, but realistically this should be done fairly soon, I think. Tentacle's the worst thing that could happen in the short term, at any rate. Another step mine, always good. Seven's one of the few characters who can actually contribute alongside a 9,999 damage... wait, uh, Shadow? Shadow must have been hit by the missile and died of seizure. Oh well. I'm not even sure it's worth the time to revive him, but... Oh no, Entwine, you're gonna slow down Mog or something, I don't really care. Phantom Rush again. That was like, ink? I don't know. Another step mine. And... Not dead yet, apparently. Let's move Mog onto the attack button. Ninja Star. This guy's gotta be pretty much dead now. Let's see, can someone besides Go Go get the finishing blow? It's not exactly likely, but. Another step mine. Maybe he'll die now. Ah, yeah, there we go. Really stupid boss, but whatever. And because I have headphones on, the person sitting next to me has no idea what game I'm playing. Well, that's the end of that mini-sode. 
Well, it's time to take on my first, my second statue here. Just one more to go after this episode, but for now I'd better take out this one, obviously. Now, I've been banning status effects against bosses for the last while because there's so many bosses in the world of Ruin that I feel don't need to be cheesed by status effects even farther. So I'm going to continue that trend. No using stop on Poltergeist, it is illegal, and I will not be doing it. Hello chest. Take one step to the right, and up into the battle. Alright, first thing first, I want to switch to Mog, but he usually preempts me, unfortunately, which... Oops. Alright, so he used stop on someone. Hopefully it was, uh, Sab, and that's the best case scenario. Shadow I can probably deal with. Mog I definitely don't want. Although Mog has by far the highest, uh, magic evasion out of the three of them. For good reason. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so you might be wondering why I just cast this stuff on my own characters, which is fortunately not banned by my own stupid rules. The thing is, all he does when my characters are- oops, I didn't need to move there. When my characters are on stop, all he'll do is uh, throw out Blaster, which, conveniently enough, Shadow and Sabin are both protected from. So as long as I've done this correctly, all he'll do is sit there and spam Blaster all day. One attack from Gogo, one Blaster. Shoot. Something went wrong. Let's revive Shadow here. Shadow can't take a lot of things, but maybe he'll use Wave Cannon next turn. He does that when Gogo's hit him eight times, so... Or maybe he'll just be too slow to do anything at all. What menu am I in? that do what it was supposed to do? <laughs> At least I'm getting a lot of travelers off this round, it seems. Yay, I think I managed to stop Shadow correctly. Good, now he's wasting his time again. Oh yeah, right, I forgot I went to the item menu to revive Shadow, which should have been really obvious, but that wasn't really part of the plan, so I didn't remember. Wave cannon, that's no big deal. I'm protected against that. Is that six? No, not six yet. Another blaster on Shadow. Big deal. I thought I told... Let's stop Shadow. I mean, Sabin. Okay, that didn't work. Did I fail to revive Sabin somehow? Yeah, that got derped up. Whatever, Gogo's still alive, that should be enough. Yeah, that was a total mess, but luck was enough to pull me through that. My strategy still did something, it's not... It probably covered about half the battle, but not as much as it probably should have if I did it right. I did a much better job on my last attempt, but... That failed. It's hard to get the timing down a little bit. Alright, go into the door. Now I gotta inch my way forward to the save point, because I don't want to fall in the pit. That would kind of suck. Statue 2 down. Oops, I don't want to do that.
just one more uh, boss to go. Well then, it's time for the penultimate mini-segment of the entire game. It's almost scary, really. All the way down to the bottom. Pretty much no navigation left either. So just, uh, after I get to there, just gotta keep walking up and hope that I don't run into any dangerous encounters on the way up. I really don't want to have to make a mini-segment for this part. I'm walking before the goddess, so I'm just gonna keep going until things work out. Good, nothing crazy happened there. Let's hope nothing crazy happens here either. Unless the craziness is in my favor, that always works. Alright, so, Gao. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's pretty much all I have to do. I might as well switch to Edgar. For later, maybe. That's one step mine, out of five. I can't really do any damage to her with anything else, not enough anyway to be meaningful. Five hits will kill, eight will trigger overcast, Quasar's instant death, and I don't want her to charm Gao. That's two out of five. If he just keeps going at this rate, this should be fine, but... Oh, that apparently. I think that kills Siam, but it's not exactly a big deal. Three out of five. keeps going at this part, right? I won't even see Overcast. Overcast, I think Gao's uh, rage not being undead might overwrite the Relic Ring, so that doesn't work to protect against the Overcast. I'm not really sure how it works, but Gao wasn't immune to Overcast pretty much no matter what I did. Wow, that's it. Man, Gao, you were on fire. Seriously. <laughs> Five out of six. Nice work. I can't even say that was anything I did, it was just all him. And so, the final boss before Kefka falls in pretty much record time. And I don't mean record time in, in terms of the entire game. Because, I mean... Just look at the timer when my menu pops up. I've maxed it out. <laughs> Although, to be honest, over half of that was the uh, IAF battle. Oh, uh, yeah, gotta get rid of that dialogue there. Walk up a couple steps, and now it's time to save. Alright, so now I just gotta walk up onto those switches in the next room. I'd like to do that right now. This is party two. Switch to party three. I don't want to jump down with them just yet. I just want to switch back to party one and then have them hit the switch. There we go. Don't even have to plan out a bit like that. So, that's it. I've reached the final save point in the game. This is how I always leave it when at the end of the game. The other two on the switches, and this party on the save point, so... Almost over now. 